guys welcome back to Lola's farm we have a little bit of drama on the farm this morning and the drama involves the puppies and the goats yesterday when all the puppies we took them out to take them on a walk they decided it would be a good idea if they attacked the goats and they did some damage and broke the skin of Camilla who's the black and white one I think when we let him out of their pen now there's some anxiety there's a lot of excitement a lot of anxiety and they kind of just took it out on the goats. So getting them on a leash and leash, leash training them all, I think will be the best way to kind of control their mind, create that pack mentality. So that's something we're gonna try to do later on today. Feeding the puppies is a very dirty job. This is oh usually God, yeah. Kayla's job every morning. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we're gonna have all of it today. <laughs> just to let you guys know, this video is sponsored by Juneshine, which is a hard, organic, kombucha company and they're offering everyone 20% off in the description below but we'll tell you guys a little bit more about them later on Feliz cumpleaños, papi. <laughs> this little bubba is 16 years old today his name is Waco look how sweet he is he's just always smiling <laughs> <laughs> we're getting back to work on the a-frame house we are getting the platform all done today even though it looks like we've made a lot of progress, all of these beams are just packed in place, which means they're not put in place with a big fat weld and held in place permanently. So, so today it's all about getting all those nice and strong, fully welded, and getting this platform done, baby. Yeah, is it to expand? Let me see. We've done all that we can do with the materials that we have, and that means we need to head out and go back to the hardware store. If any of you guys are truckers and watching our video right now, or if you're happening to be driving in the car, and you look out your window and you see a Home Depot, or a Lowe's, or even a Ace Hardware. Just know I'm so jealous of you. Getting materials here in Panama has been a challenge. And gone are the days of going to Home Depot and having everything you need right at your fingertips. I haven't brought you guys here in a while, but welcome back to Fedeteria Ivan's. This is where we get all of our hardware for our house. This is the closest hardware store. And we're so happy this place exists because it's making it so we don't have to drive all the way down to the city. You guys can see how important this truck is and also how important this rack is. This is how we've gotten almost all the materials up to the land for the workshop, for Rodrigo's house, everything. And this is a Toyota Hilux. You cannot get this in the States. I think it's because, of they'll tell you it's because of emissions, but I think it's because this thing just lasts way too long. What are we doing? I don't know. Well, we have everything we need. We have 16 20 foot beams up on top of the roof right now. Just gotta take it nice and easy on the way back. You guys have no idea how many times I've dumped the materials on the roof on the windy road going up. <laughs> I got the goods. I got the goods, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's be cool. We've been working on all these floor joists behind me and we've been so tedious with them, just making sure they're absolutely perfect, absolutely level, just doing the best job that we possibly can and that we know how to do. Because everything's gonna tie into this. The roof's gonna tie into this, the floor is gonna tie into this. So we're probably about 75% of the way there and we've been working on this for about a week now. And Rodrigo is very, very determined to have all of these caballos for the floor joists all done today. Chop chop. And we got this bitch down. Ah! Oh. 
Oh yeah, baby. Who is your mommy? Oh yeah! I'm your mommy. <laughs> is anybody watching me right now? This is ridiculous. So I figured, since there's not a whole lot that I can do down at the platform, the boys have kind of got it all covered with the welding, with the cutting, with the painting and the grinding. So, I gotta make myself useful somehow, right? So I figured I'd do a little, you know, end of second trimester wood chopping. I got a hack. Oh, kitchen hack. Are we, kitchen is this meals hack. on the bus, honey? Meals in the workshop, baby. <laughs> We're bringing it back. I am not a fish kind of person. I usually don't really like fish. Salmon is one of those, are one of those, you know, fishies of the sea that I really like. Um, and I've been trying to eat more since I've been pregnant. But the, the key to, to, to the salmon is this special salmon sauce. So all it is, is mayo, Parmesan cheese, Worcestershire sauce, which I actually made homemade, and chives. Kaylee's very excited to show you guys the salmon. It's like, do you see the presentation? It's so cute. <laughs> Cucumber salad. And a little smorgasbord of veggie and salmon, <laughs> baby. Look at that. So we just had a meeting with the architect and a big question, a big part of our discussion was this overhang. These parts of the caballo that are overhanging, you can see the main support of the house is here. And this is really where the main walking space of the, of the house is. You're not gonna be able to walk here, but still, if you look, these beams, might be hard for you to see, but they bend. Not a lot, a little bit, but that's one of those things that over time, we were worried that they would keep bending more and more and more. But we had both our architect and one of his main builder guys that oversees all the buildings of all the all the houses and everything he does. And they said this is perfectly fine because the roof, remember this is an A-frame, the roof is gonna come up like this and the main support is gonna be right here. I will tell you when we get to the roof, I'm feeling very, very intimidated. A lot of angles, a lot of stuff to mess up. And it's very important that we get it all just right. That was one of the longest days we've had in a very long time. There was no rain today, it's been absolutely beautiful. They call this the mini summer. And it's like summer, it's sunny. So I figure it's only good for a celebration. We got some Junshine kombucha. <laughs> Here you go, bro. This one for Kake, blood orange mint. Bro, this one, Rodrigo might have one of the best palates in the world. He was a barista before this and he could taste all the flavors in the coffee. So you don't look at any of these flavors and you tell me what you taste, bro. I got pineapple. Yep. Orange. Yep. Oh, it's a bunch of citrus fruits here. Mango. Nope. But it has mango. Nope. No way. It doesn't have mango? No. You have Rossi. Coconut, dude. It has coconut. And for me, my favorite, honey ginger lemon. This is like the perfect replacement for beer if you're trying to go for something sweet and refreshing. And the best part is they're all for me and for these guys because Kaylee can't have any because she's pregnant. But very soon. Very soon I will be, sorry if TMI, pumping and dumping, baby. <laughs> pumping and dumping. Pumping is dump and dumping is when you're, Kaylee's planning on breastfeeding. And this is when you, you know, you pump and then it has alcohol in it so you dump it. And then you breastfeed some more when the, oh, there's no alcohol in the breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you forgot something. The oh. right way to drink Junshine. What's the right way to drink Junshine? <laughs> <laughs> but the pinky must be higher than the can, okay? Lucy. 
never been on a leash before. So I'm trying. You can do this, sweetie. See, we're just gonna walk. This is gonna have to be something that we work on daily because she really, really doesn't like it. Pears are so underrated. Good morning, you guys. Heading down to Rodrigo's spot. We have a new phase in construction that we're gonna be working on today. Now that we have all of the Cariola beams completely done and welded in. We're just about done finishing up the caballos and Rodrigo's just welded in the second to last one in place. And while he's doing that, I need to cut maybe a million pieces of rebar like this. Yeah, he's crazy looking, dude. And the rebar pieces go right here to kind of triangulate and support the tops of these caballos. Because they're only welded on the bottom, they can shift a little bit. So by welding these pieces of rebar here, it makes the top a lot stronger. the roof structure. We need to get a big, thick metal plate, three by three inch, that we're gonna weld now onto the platform that's gonna act as the base. yet <clears throat> I think it's been probably maybe almost six months now since we've gotten our nature's head compost toilet and to be completely honest not a fan now there's nothing against nature's head by any means or compost toilets in general it's just here in Panama it is so humid that we weren't able to keep the peat moss that you put in it dry. Even with the fan, even with the right ratio of peat moss, I just don't think it's really feasible or possible in this environment. So long story short, it's a pretty nasty job to do. And we do it about every two weeks. We do alternate taking turns. But, um, yeah, it's, it's no fun. And Jordan and I decided that when we do build our house, we are for sure going to get ourselves a regular septic system with a regular toilet. And that's just going to be one of those things that we do not sacrifice. <laughs> to be totally honest, the roof is the thing that's intimidating me the most. And the hard part about this is the um, architecture plans in Panama are different than you expect to see in the States. What we've learned in Panama is they're more general. We don't go into as much detail, so while we have all the angles and which materials we should use for the support beams and everything, connecting it to the structure, we just kind of need to figure it out on our own with the little bit of experience we have. So we've kind of just come down here just to try and figure this out and see what the best way to do this is. So the idea is to take these plates and then weld it onto the C-beams here. 
and then eventually what will happen is we'll have a three by three inch beam that goes up and that's gonna really be what supports the roof. And because we don't have super, super detailed plans, it can get a little frustrating. The architect told us we have to put these plates in, which are to receive the roof supports. And they need to go right in the corner, right there, right underneath that caballo, which means we need to cut that caballo out and weld the plate into place. One, two, three, and four. Four plates. But that's gonna be all that we have for today. We're not gonna get started on the roof structure yet. We're exhausted. And it's gonna take a lot of brain power and a lot of work, a lot of angles, and I'm kinda of terrified. So I need to spend some time just thinking about it, looking over the plans, talking with the architect, making sure we're all on the same page. So next time you guys are gonna see us turn this a frame house into an actual A. Check him out right now, you guys. We got the pack mentality going. Lola's, these are the two troubled ones, Lucy and Soph. But Lola's leading the way. We've only been walking on a leash now for just a few days. And they already got it down. I'm having like that proud papa moment where it's like, you guys did it! That's what it's all about right there, baby. Beautiful sunsets and organic hard kombucha. Are we living in luxury or what? Who ever thought that off-grid living, no electricity, no water, well, we make our own electricity and our own water, while well, all on our own, no one around for miles. Just me, everyone's gone. Kaylee's out on a girls' night. Kake and Adrian are down with their dad. I think Rodrigo's actually down here, but I got this whole view to myself. Well, that's about it for this one, you guys. Gonna wrap up our night here with some June shine. Just wanna say thank you again to them for sponsoring this video and helping us make this farm a reality. If you wanna try out some hard kombucha, we have a discount for June shine in the description below for 20% off. And make sure you guys have an extra one for me, since I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of months, honey. Couple of months, baby. <laughs> Count down the days. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for following along. I'll see you next time.